pharmacist, but the point is he did at Cold Springs Harbor develop most of the uh, uh, d sequencing. He is smart when it comes to that, and he's saying, yes, we've got to have the obvious, I mean, look, Look, it isn't bad genetics that I have to have oxygen to live. If I get strangled to death or I die, my car runs into a lake, they don't say he had bad genes because his lungs couldn't handle the water. It was that I'm, I'm not designed to breathe water. I'm designed to breathe oxygen. Correct. I, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's like if I smoke three packs of cigarettes a day, it's not that I'm genetically predisposed to lung cancer. It's that yeah, it's bad for me. And it, it, and it, fl and it flips on you know, things in my body that makes my body start malfunctioning. Basically, is that what it is? You're exactly right. And there's two pieces. Number one, if you're missing the cofactors, essentially the nutrients, minerals, uh, vitamins, amino acids, fatty acids, which puts you uh, in a very fragile state. You cannot even exist in, in your environment you're designed for. And then you throw in these toxins that have been created uh, by these uh, monsters of uh, industry called the pharmaceutical industry. And, of course, that, that's how we got paid for the war debt in the Second World War. The reparations where we got all of the pharmaceutical companies, which were not publicly traded companies when they were in Germany. They were, they were all Nazis. They were supporting Hitler in the war. And um, they were privately owned. We're talking about Bayer and Pfizer. Yeah, um, Germany was dominating chemicals and pharmacological. Yes. They just dominated. Exactly. And so we took them as payment for the war debt, turned them into publicly traded companies. Even kept their original heads. Oh, yeah. And, of course, many of the doctors. Mengele's family headed up a bunch of that. Yes. That's why he was allowed to go. And he lived, he died as an old man in his bed in South America. Did you hear they just dug up thousands of, of Irish children in England at an orphanage that they were killing in vaccine studies? And they threw them in a septic tank in the back? Yes, and I was... And they're not even getting in trouble. Well, Alex, I was in Canada in March of this year. Canadians, everybody loves Canadians because they're supposed to be nice people, right? Well, they had what they called the um, uh, resident school system where they were taking all the Indian children... Uh, the, the native Canadians, if you will, uh, saying, look, to the parents, they're starving, you're not educating, we'll take them, we'll feed them, we'll educate them, we'll send them back as doctors and lawyers and engineers. And the parents were, well, were starving, here, please take our kids and feed them and educate them, send them back. Well, they just found a mass grave near a Catholic church um, in um, Canada. Oh, we've had them on. They keep 50, finding... 50,000 bodies of children oh, were using the experiment. 50,000 bodies. And I was there. Wow. I was wow. We need to get those guys back on. Like five years ago, they'd find 20, they'd find 50. You're saying they found the mother load? The mother load, a mass grave with 50,000 bodies and of kids between the ages of 6 and 19. They were given up by their parents to get educated. They were used in tuberculosis experiments. See, they blame the average white person mm -hmm. in, in American cosmology for all the Indians and experimentation. It's not the average white person. It's evil elites. Israel's done secret tests on Jews. The, the same crap. The Irish, with the British did it to the Irish kids. They do it to people here. They would do it with blacks because they didn't. People wouldn't listen to them when they said that guy killed my baby. But they so they did over target them as well. So there is some racism there. But these people, what do you call them? They're just demons. I, I mean, how do you inject little Irish kids with stuff you know is really going to kill them and call it a vaccine trial? Well, you have to appreciate, Alex, that this all goes back to Francis Galton, who started eugenics. He was the one who wanted to accelerate. Um, human evolution by, he created marriage licenses so that the bureaucrats could interview people. If you were illiterate, they wouldn't issue a marriage license because they didn't want you to have more illiterate children. And um, and so marriage licenses were created by Francis Galton, who is Charles Darwin's brother. And uh, he was sort of, a, uh, he invented the first dating clubs because he wanted to have the first tall women marry the first tall men who were all blonde haired and blue eyed. Yeah, they all interbred for three generations and almost all of them were born mentally retarded or dead. <laughs> Something like that. I'm mean, in a documentary about it. No, you know everything. You know, I got to have you back for like three hours. Okay, sure. Listen, I'm, I mean, we got more segments, but it's just, it's, you know, because you're saying it word for word, all this history nobody knows, and it's just all dead on. It's all in the book. And you, you also, I mean, they knew 20 years ago, as you write about in the book, where they did these different worm studies and animal studies, where they would give them super high nutrient diets, low calorie diets. You say it's a higher one's what's needed, and that they live three times longer, the worms. Yes. Uh, the mice live twice as long. One mouse fed the American diet, can't walk. The other one at the same age is running around in circles and lives tw three times as long. I mean, what's going on here? Well, it's just the basic needs. Again, we talked about earlier in the show. Um, yeah, everybody has great genes, but if you're not giving them the raw materials to ma maximize their ability to achieve the genetic potential, just like a car can go 300,000 miles before you need a new engine, but if you put six quarts of water in the, in the um, 
uh, crankcase instead of six quarts of oil, you might not even go the distance that you would get on a tank of gas. And so you have to do the same thing with your genes. You have to give your genes every nutrient necessary to maximize that potential of 200. That's like saying I need oxygen to live? Yes. You're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so you don't support common core 2 plus 2 equals 5? No, sir. No, 2 plus 2 does not make 5. God, that's, whoa, you're a little bit of an extremist. Well, <laughs> well I'm a pathologist, and uh, dead is dead, live is live, and uh, nutritional deficiencies are repeatable. And so this is where I come from. Uh, the, these are Well, you know the studies, the hospitals have the worst food of any place. Absolutely. You want to get sick, you want to die, go to a hospital. In fact, it was a cover article, March 2008, uh, in the um, uh, AARP Monthly Bulletin. The worst place to be in America when you're sick is an American hospital. So the truth's coming out, folks. Find the book at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsHealth.com. Epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. This book is one of the most important ever written. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com in the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Folks, this is our final segment with Dr. Wallach, Joel Wallach in studio. This just broke on Infowars.com. Proof Obama premeditated immigration crisis. A dizzying number of people are leaving their home countries and embarking on a dangerous journey to the U.S. where federal border guards purposely tasked with enforcing immigration law give little resistance. We're going to put a sub-headline in here. FEMA caught stockpiling for the immigrants months ago the, and and so they were they were gearing up to cause this big crisis to implode it uh also don't forget this hour was brought to you by my patriot supply.com forward slash alex great organic high quality non-gmo storable food and other preparedness items my patriot supply.com forward slash alex 
and the toll-free number is also on that website if you'd like to be able to give them a call. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex uh, and their supporters of the broadcast, obviously. Dr. Walk, you said in a month or so you'll come back for a full two hours and take calls on your book that, again, you think you know it all. You read this. I learned so much more, but also so much deep knowledge that hardly anybody knows. I'm not like one of these elitists that's learned all this knowledge is on a power trip and doesn't want other people to have it. That's how the establishment operates. I want other people to have it and, and, and to have the minerals, to have the vitamins, to get the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and InfoWarsHealth.com, to get our survival shield, nascent iodine, to know that when they want to slice you and cut you up and all this and, you know, and say, well, or, or we better cut you know, your breast off when you're 10 years old, uh, you know, because you're going to get breast cancer, you're going to die, it's genetic. Well, yeah, if you're not getting the minerals and drinking glyphosate all day, you bet you are. You bet your kids are going to go into puberty at age six now because of all the GMO and all the bisphenol A. And we've got to reverse this, this curse of the weaponized food, the water, the culture. In closing, talk about breast cancer. Okay, well, breast cancer is a community-inflicted disease. Uh, you said it very well there. Um, you can reduce the risk of breast cancer, Alex, um, by 462% in any individual woman if she totally avoids uh, eating burnt meat. If she cooks her steak medium rare instead of well done, and doctors say eat your meat well done to avoid E. coli and salmonella. I'd rather deal with salmonella and E. coli than I would breast cancer, right? And so I keep it. They want us to be total wimps. Yeah, now they want to irradiate all the meat so nothing's in it. Just, <laughs> I mean, you know. And you can you can reduce the risk of breast cancer by 462 percent just by eating the meat cooked medium rare instead of well done. Um, you can reduce your risk of breast cancer by 82 percent by supplementing with that one mineral selenium, and that was one of my lawsuits against the FDA, which I prevailed in federal court. And then um, you can um, actually increase your risk of prostate cancer by 69 percent by being selenium deficient. I take. Uh, a milligram a day, you're supposed to take in 200 micrograms, one-fifth of a milligram, but I take in a milligram, a full thousand micrograms a day. You want total bioavailability. Exactly. And I, I just swamp myself um, pr to prevent uh, congestive heart failure and a type of um, dementia that looks like Alzheimer's disease called Korsakoff syndrome, which both congestive heart failure and Korsakoff is a deficiency of a single vitamin. I take 28,000 times the minimum. We've got one minute left. It's all in the book, all epigenetics. The book. But let me just ask this. Yes. What about two years ago? You guys did the Clemson study we never talk about with the medical department. What they found with Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Oh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine in our original um, uh, Ultimate Classic, you can reduce the risk of colon cancer by 95%. This was in cell cultures of human cells with colon And that's Clemson. Cancer. That's Clemson University published. You can reduce the risk of colon cancer. You can actually take colon cancer cells, human cells, infected with colon cancer. You can kill 95% of the cancer with... And it didn't affect the other cells? Oh, no, no. What's happening there? Just briefly. Well, um, cancer cells um, don't have the same metabolism as normal cells. And, of course, you give them things that will make normal cell happy kills the cancer cell. They thrive in a sick environment. I mean, what? Uh, he, like that eternal cell line. Where cancer cells will live in a petri dish forever, exactly. our cells won't. But then you give them something good for them, it kills them. <laughs> exactly. That's why vitamin C, I guess, intravenously has been helping so much. Dr. Wallach, epigenetics, incredible. The book available, InfoWarsHealth.com. Thank you so much for coming to town. Thank you, Alex. God bless you. You're amazing. Dr. Jerome Corsi with breaking news on the takeover of Iraq by Al-Qaeda. And Obama is helping them. It, it is off the chart. We're back in 60 Visit seconds. GCMI. It's only five Dr. minutes with Dr. Today. Corsi. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 o'clock. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products in infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life 
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin.